suspension trainer workout with a little bit of abdominals at the end. Uh, this is going to be a circuit class, so it's going to be high intensity interval circuits. It's going to be three exercises. We're going to go 30 seconds on, 15 seconds off uh, for each exercise. And we're going to rotate through the exercises three rounds for a total of nine sets, okay? So before we start in, before we jump in, let's go ahead and get a warm-up going. So go ahead and widen your stance. Nice and wide, with your toes facing straight ahead. You don't like your fingers. Push your palms up to the ceiling and pull the shoulder blades in. Lift through your chest. Feel your heels on the floor. And then from here, I want you to tip it to the left. As far as you can go, keep your head right in between the arms. Flip it over to the right. Good. Back to the front. Look up at your hands. Push your hip forward. Squeeze your butt. And lean back. Ah, unlock the hands. Hinge at your hip. Fold forward. And just hang here for a second. Pushing your knees back. Keep the legs nice and straight. Toes are still facing straight ahead. And you're going to walk both hands over to your left foot. Uh, you can put your hand on your shin. You can put your hand on your thigh. If you're Hamstrings are super tight, but the main thing here is to make sure that your legs are straight. Good. Then walk it over to the other side, and we're going to hold here in five, four, three, two, one. Good. Bring both hands down the middle. Let's bend the left leg. Keep that right leg straight. Try to get the elbow inside that left thigh, knee area. Good. We're going to stay low, and we're going to switch sides. Switch it over. Good. Let's switch it again. Connecting your breath to these movements. And one more time, let's switch it. Good. And here, I want you to straighten both legs to you drop your hip. Now, I want you to walk your feet into hip distance and just a deep squat. Just like that. Chest is up. Push the knees out. Nice and tall in the chest. Excellent. Good. Place your hands on the floor. Lean into your elbows. Push your knees out a little bit. Rock back to your heels. Straighten your legs as you drop your hip. Push the knees back. Hinging at your hip. Let the torso just fall to the floor. And slight bend to the knees. Curl the spine as you roll up one vertebrae at a time. Excellent. Good. A couple shoulder rolls while we're up here. Up, back, down, forward. Go a few times one direction. And then let's go back for a few. Breathing, connecting your breath to these movements. Good. Put your hands on your hips, open your stance, put your chin to your chest, and roll your neck around. A few times, one way. Okay. And let's go a few times in the other direction. Good. And look straight ahead. A little swing on the arms here. Open up the chest. Breathing. Good. Bring your right arm across your chest, give it a hug. Good. And again, let the arms swing. swing. Excellent. And let's pull right knee up to the chest or the left knee up. And we'll go right knee and then left knee. Good. And then grab your right ankle or top of the foot and your knee to the floor. And here I want you to tuck your tailbone under. I want you to reach your left arm to the sky. Good. And switch. switch. Nice and tall. And one more time, go ahead and switch it. Good. All right, shake it up. So let me show you what these three exercises are. All right, so the first one is going to be a rotation row. Okay, so it essentially it's a single arm row. So what you're going to do is you're going to grab the handle with an overlapping grip. You're going to walk your feet toward uh, where the anchor is. Okay, now, uh, the, the, the more extreme uh, the angle of your body is to the ground, the harder the exercise. So, in other words, the closer your body is to the ground, the more gravity is prevalent, the harder the exercise. The larger the angle between your body and the floor, the easier the exercise. So just keep that in mind. If you need to modify or reduce the intensity of an exercise, you can just simply walk back or walk closer, and you'll get those, um, those results. Okay, so... Grabbing the handle with an overlapping grip, you're going to step your feet closer to the anchor point. You're going to take this top hand, you're going to tap the floor. As your hip reaches toward the floor, if you 
could do what's called a kip. So you're going to drive the hip, carry that momentum all the way through, and reach up as high as you can, pulling that opposite elbow down. All right? And reach back, tap, and pull. Reach back, tap, and pull. Okay? We're going to go 15 seconds on each arm for that one. And then next, you're going to grab your uh, handles, and you're going to come into a push-up position or a plank position. All right? So my palms are facing down, and the handles or the straps are just above my shoulders. You don't want to get the straps too close to the shoulders, otherwise they'll rub. All right, palms are facing down. You're going to turn the palms in as you drop your chest for a push-up. You're going to do one knee lift and another knee lift in between each push-up. Two knee lifts in between each push-up. So that's exercise two. And then exercise three, you're going to take the handles and get them underneath of your arms. Grabbing a hold of the handles, you're going to lean into it. You're going to hop forward off of one foot and then hop back. Hop forward and hop back. Forward and back. And we're going to do 15 seconds on each leg for that one. So like I said, it's going to be 30 on, 15 off, three rounds. Okay? And uh, let's get started. So starting with our single arm rotational rows. Three, two, one, go. We got 15 seconds here. Make sure you get a little drive from the hip. Reach the hips toward the floor and pull and reach that opposite elbow back. Good. That's our switch. Go ahead and switch arms. our switch. happening here inadvertently as well. So we get a little double whammy here. And time. Good. All right, we got our sprinter hops happening next. And then we're going to go one more round with these three. And then we're 
gotta change it up. Remember, the knee is what's gonna be leading the momentum of the opposite foot. You can set that back foot down to drive the knee and hop forward and hop back. The hip drives forward. Good, switch legs. Switch legs. Keep breathing. Two, one, done. All right, guys. That was round one, round two. So now we're going to uh, work into the lower body. Um, again, we're going to be staying with our suspension trainer. So uh, first movement is going to be a single leg squat. This is great, this is sort of a precursor to a um, pistol squat, which is a um, body weight single leg squat. We're gonna use the straps here to help get us out of that low position. So you're gonna grab the handles. You're not gonna walk all the way down, just walk a little bit down so that this, these straps can then take your weight. You're gonna extend both arms. You're gonna pick one leg off of the ground, squat down as low as you can on that leg, and then stand. And as you see, I get a little bit of a row there at the top of the arms. So we go down and we come up. Drop the hip down and up. And you're just reaching that opposite leg out. I want you to rely more on the leg than you do on the arms, okay? So let the legs do a lot of that lifting. We're gonna be here for 15 seconds for each leg. Then we're gonna go into some bridging. So you're gonna lie back. Now these suspension trainers have these little loops on the end, these are stirrups. So you put your heels in these loops and now we're going to work through some bridges, working the back side, working your glutes, working your hamstrings, that whole posterior chain. Then we're going to come out of that and we're going to get some plyometrics in the mix. So you're going to grab these second handles here or if you're using a TRX you want to adjust your handles. And then from here we're going to drop down and we're going to jump. We're just going to use the handle to help get us a little bit more elevation in that jump. So again, we're going to work 30 seconds on, 15 seconds off. We're going to go three rounds, a total of nine sets. So without further ado, let's do it. Here we go. Single leg squats. Let's do it. And again, I want you to focus on using your legs more here. Now, if you want to add some intensity to this, 
to be a hop in between each rep. Good. Go ahead and switch legs. Then we'll extend that opposite leg straight out. So it looks like an upside down gun. Hands out to the side, and we lift, squeeze, and back down. Fifteen seconds, come on.
just using these straps in your own body weight. I love these suspension tricks. Three, two, one. Now, take little breaks along the way. I'm certainly going to. You do too if you need to. But if you're feeling good, keep it going. Don't forget to breathe. Two, notice I'm taking my time all the way down. Three, 
reaching my elbows forward. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Full rep. What I mean by full rep, I see a lot of this happening. We do a rep, and that's the last rep, and we'll just stop there, right? Instead of doing the concentric and eccentric contraction. So, full rep. Let's get back to our triceps. Round two, triceps. to get to. All right, so we are going to finish off with some abdominals, as promised. Um, again, we're going to do three movements. Each movement is going to be for time. So this will be interval training. It's going to be 30 seconds on, 15 seconds off. Our three exercises are going to be double leg mountain climbers. And they look like this. You're going to be in a plank position, and you're going to hop both feet in and both feet out at the same time. 
real simple there. Double leg mountain climber. Then we're going to go into a hollow body hold. So you lie down. Knees are bent. You're going to reach your hands by your hips. Pick your feet up off the ground. Reach them out in front of you. And I've got some modifications here on how to make that one a little easier and a little harder, if you like. And then finally, from that position, we're going to finish with bicycles. Okay? So we've got double leg mountain climbers, hollow body hold, and bicycles. Again, three rounds, 30 seconds each round. Let's do this. Starting with double leg mountain climbers. And go. So we want to make sure that your weight is forward over top of your hands. Now hop the knees right under the hips and hop above that. If it's too tough, you can just pump the knees toward the chest. Or we're hopping both feet in and both feet out. You have got 10 more seconds. Keep it going. Don't have to hop in too far. And don't hop all the way in and sit back on the heels. All right? Just hop the knees right under the chest. Three, two, one, time. Good. Go ahead and roll over. Whew. Okay. Next up, you got hollow body hold. So you're going to lie back. Reach your hands by your hips. Hands off the ground. Lift your shoulders. Put your chin to your chest. And reach your feet out. The higher the legs the easier. Bend the knees, also easier. If you want to give yourself more of a challenge, reach the legs, reach the arms. This is the hardest, easiest. I'm going to hold this one for 10 more seconds. And time. Good. We're going to finish off with our bicycles. So with these, you can either start with bent knees, reach the opposite leg out and tap with your elbow, or straight legs, bring the knees in. I'm going to do both. I'm going to start off with the hard version here. Notice how I'm extending both legs in between each rep. Now I'm going to switch to the easier version. switch at the halfway point to mountain climbers. Single leg. Start with a full hollow hold, and then I'm going to modify halfway through. Here we go. Lower back is the only thing that should be on the ground here. If you feel your lower back start to arch like that, that means your abs are no longer firing. And if that's the case, then pull the knees in like this. 15 more seconds. And this will definitely get you that activation in the abs that you're looking for. Get the shoulders up as high as you can. And time, good. All right, we got our round of bicycles. Again, I'm gonna go half uh, with the hard version and half with the easy version. We got five seconds. Here we go. Remember, I reach you both legs in between each rep. are burning. All right, and then we switch to these guys. Try to tap the knee when you're rotating the elbow. Oh, all right, you guys, we got one more round. Are you with me? 
I'm very weak, but I'm here. We're going to get through this. Get ready. we got five more seconds. And double legs. Switch. And that is all I got for you today. I'm sure that was plenty. All right, I hope you enjoyed this workout. Um, please comment below if you would like to see other workouts, um, if you would like to see specific body parts, um, working with certain types of equipment. Um, so on and so forth, or if you just want to say hi, um, please comment below. Uh, I'll continue to bring these to you as often as I can. Thank you very much for working out with me.